Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make something like this. You get the idea. So to do something like this, um, well, you've got your drums. I won't go over them and I won't go over my sub. Because um, that's pretty basic stuff. What I'm going to go over is this. And this. So how I made these, we'll start off with this one because this is the one I made first, is we've got a whole bunch of effects here, but mainly the automation in here which is doing it. So what I'm doing is I am automating, let me just make some room, there we go, uh, I'm automating the this macro and this macro then this macro is attached to this cutoff here and then it's also attached to this drive so i turn all these off there you go uh, this reverb is just adding space where it can very subtle difference um but it isn't once you've got all these effects on and stuff like that then this one is um automating the rate here So that's everything in Serum. Um, so it's pretty much just Saw Wave. Um, and then we've got this. I could use the band filter, but I wanted to have more control over the two things. And then we've got this. Just fatten it up. And then OTT. And then we've got Saturator. And my own multi band, and then saturate again, then an EQ, a delay, and a reverb, and another EQ. It's quite similar to how I made the virtual right fortune roll. Uh, What's it called? Yeah, acid base. Uh, I think, is this an acid base? I'm not too sure. Um, and then the one below it, this one. It's the exact same thing as before, but we've got this down to an octave, a down an octave. And then we've got also the unison here has been put up to two. And then we've also got a utility, uh, inverting the phase of the right channel. Um, is it the phase? Inverting the wave of the right channel. I think it's phase, same thing. Um, and then uh, we're getting it down a bit and then together. That's how you get that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just made this within like two minutes. Anyway, bye.